Hello everyone, I am Dr. Yuktansh Pandey. I am a transplant surgeon here at Care Hospital Banjara Hills, Hyderabad. And today I will be putting some light over liver cancers. Now, going directly to talk about liver cancer, first uh, as a doctor, let me tell you that uh, in our OPD, uh, very frequently patients come across uh, with their USG and CT scan report done for some other purpose and there is a cystic lesion in liver and they are worried whether they are suffering from a liver cancer. So every cyst is uh, not a cancer but every cancer can present as a liver cyst during its evolution uh, over time. So to properly diagnose and to know whether it has any potential to go malignant you must always come with your reports and to see a liver doctor nearby or to a liver specialized center. Talking about liver cyst, uh, most commonly we see a simple liver cyst which has a very 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 less chance to turn malignant, in fact no chance to turn malignant. There are other various cysts commonly we see as a parasitic cyst, a cyst adenoma, hepatic adenomas with a cystic component. So all these uh, cysts, they should be treated under a specialized liver center. A simple cyst usually requires just a routine follow-up and uh, most likely we don't do anything for this. And other cysts, we advise the patient to go for uh, liver resection or uh, resection just to prove its uh, histology and to uh, know the nature of the cyst. Now coming to liver tumors, tumor, uh, liver tumors like any other tumor in the body, the tumors can be a benign and a malignant one. And both pediatric and adult population, this, uh, the division of tumors, of benign tumors are more or less of the same kind like uh, a hemangioma of the liver, hematomas and uh, adenomas. Uh, in liver there are focal nodular hyperplasias. Uh, so imaging like a CT scan and MRI, most of the times it is, uh, it gives us an information about what we are looking at. but. Uh, uh, a clear cut definition whether it is a benign or a malignant cannot be made in many cases. In such cases, it is better to go for a resection, a complete resection and after that uh, to plan a further therapy if required. Now malignant like which we call as liver cancer, uh, it can be divided into two, a pediatric and uh, an adult cancers. In pediatric specifically there are more, more common are hepatoblastomas, hepatocellular carcinomas are also there and uh, the difference between the two uh, like hepatoblastomas there are different classifications the pretext classifications and there are guidelines uh, these cancers are relatively more sensitive to chemotherapy the proper treatment what is required are uh, chemotherapy followed by resection if the tumor is not resectable at the primary presentation next uh, what are the symptoms of these the tumors and the cancers the tumors and cancers that symptoms are mostly vague symptoms like there will be loss of appetite, there will be dull aching pain in the abdomen, sometimes there will be vomiting if the tumor are causing compressive symptoms over GI tract, there can be jaundice if they are causing compression over the biliary system and cholangitis, fever, chills etc. So any of such symptoms warrants you to see a hepatologist or a liver doctor nearby, liver surgeon and to grade the disease and to plan a resection if the resection can be planned. If not, then go for a chemotherapy and then a resection. This is for hepatoblastomas. Hepatocellular carcinomas in adults, no, they are not that chemotherapy, it is sensitive. So in such cases, usually if the uh, cancer is not resectable at the primary uh, presentation, then the, we what we go, do are the some uh, bridging therapies which are a trans arterial chemoembolization we block the artery feeding that tumor and we expect that a tumor to regress and then we can plan a resection and if the rest of the liver is not healthy to uh, support the body in such cases a liver transplant a formal liver transplant is the only available answer for such patients now what causes liver cancer there are variety of reasons any form of inflammation of your liver can lead to a liver cancer example hepatitis b related hepatitis c related alcoholic liver non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases 
there are few toxins like alpha toxins how to prevent yourself how to uh, keep yourself safe from this liver cancer always get yourself immunized with hepatitis b get yourself checked with hepatitis c abstain from alcohol if not if at all then drink in a moderate amount keep a healthy body weight and yes stay away from iv drug abuses thank you have a happy liver day